Hey coaches, and welcome to my channel where I discuss the Perfect Play Football System. The Perfect Play Football System is a modern day spread offensive system that is the most explosive and creative spread offensive system being used in any level of football today. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to attack the boundary of a trips formation to the field. We're going to focus on the attacking the boundary safety. Please give the video a thumbs up and make comments down below and please bang that bell for those notifications. Here's my contact information. You can follow me on Twitter at Perfect Play Football or you can email me at perfectplayfootball at gmail.com. And as always, Perfect Play Football is sponsored by Game Changer Fundraising, which provides the most low maintenance and high profit fundraiser used today. I used it for 15 of my 18 years as a head football coach, which is why I started the company. A fundraiser for coaches designed by coaches. Please contact me if you're interested in learning more about Game Changer Fundraising and learn how to earn an extremely high profit with very little effort. Football system will teach you how to become your own offensive guru. You no longer have to worry about chasing coaches online or at clinics only to learn how to get yourself in trouble. I will show you how to attack defenses and how to attack all of the defensive adjustments to your base plays. You will create your offense to score fast and score a lot of points. Your biggest problem will be that everyone will accuse you of running up the score. So let's talk about today's video. We're going to talk about attacking a middle open coverage, and we're going to look specifically on attacking the boundary safety, which I will call the jack from now on. Uh, if the jack is supporting the run into the boundary, and it's we can use any run, it's best to use a gap scheme, but we can use any run into the boundary. We can attack them in two ways. The most common way would be to have the single receiver in our diagram that I'll show you next, it will be the X receiver. And he can run a slant off the safety's upfield shoulder. So if that jack is coming down to support the run, he will run a skinny slant, in other words. And the quarterback can read pass him and, and throw the ball. That's the most common way of doing it. However, it's not the best way of doing it. The best way is to have the number three receiver from the trips formation, that's the number three to the field, run a crossing route, which in our terminology, we just tell him it's a vertical route, and his landmark is the opposite hash. Therefore, he is running what we call a vertical route out of that trips formation, the number three receiver out of trips. And that is the best method of using to attack that jack safety. So here is the diagram. Once again, this is middle open. The jack is here. Free safety is to the field. We have our trips to the field. Ball's on the left hash. Single receiver into the boundary. And you can do either one of these. It says slant or number three vertical. You're not going to do both. Do one or the other. This is the most common. So the X would run a slant. If the jack feels for the run, which he has to, he's the only way they can have an unblocked defender into the boundary uh, especially on gap schemes. So he would come down to fill in for the run, and we would run that skinny slant into that area behind him. Now, that is a lot of people do that, uh, but that is not the best way to attack that jack safety. He is still going to have a corner running with the slant, and he'll be a corner on his back. So that it can be done that way. However, that's not the best. The best way to do it is have number three, and we number from outside in, number one, number two, number three, and he will run a vertical route. His vertical route landmark would be under and over, under the Sam, over the mic, and it would be at about 17 to 22 yards downfield. So it would actually be about right here where he wants to intersect this hash mark. All right, so the quarterback would read the jack. The jack feels on the run. He's going to pull the ball, and he'll throw, and it'll, the throw will probably take place more over here. It's not going to, he doesn't have to wait to throw when he gets on the hash mark. The throw will probably take place more towards the middle of the field. If the jack stays high and covers number three vertical, then he will simply hand off and they do not have a low hole defender or a bounce player out here. So they do not have that extra defender uh, in order to be able to jump inside the box and make the tackle. So we have everybody blocked up, hand off, and we should have a good run play. 
All right, that concludes today's video. In summary, I showed you how to attack the boundary of a trip's formation to the field, specifically how to attack the boundary safety with a slant by the X receiver, or a better way to attack the jack safety would be to send the number three receiver from the trip's formation on a vertical route. The boundary safety must support the run to the boundary as well as cover the number three receiver on a vertical route. This puts that boundary safety in a huge bind. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and make comments down below and bang that bell for those notifications. And as always, score fast, score often, and never apologize.